Hi, I'm Uncle David. We just got in from San Antonio, parked the airplane, un unloaded the materials, and just parked the airplane here. We just got back from the general conference, and we had a, a missionary retreat from Gospel Ministries International. Nearly 70 of our missionaries were there. We had a wonderful time, spiritual time. We learned a lot about health. We learned a lot about exercise. We learned a lot spiritually, and we bonded together and, and prayed a lot together. Uh, the next step right now is a pretty busy one. We are getting ready to uh, make a flight. I'm going to be doing a flight down to South America with stops along the way in the Caribbean and uh, in South America to drop off supplies, computer streaming equipment, broadcast equipment, airplane parts, tires, uh, some fluids that cannot, uh, corrosive fluids and, and uh, flammable fluids that you can normally not take in a commercial aircraft. And we'll be dropping them off in different countries. My, my route of flight is going to be from here to Miami. Actually, I'm going to stop in Atlanta just temporarily to get some radio work done. Then to Miami, from there to Puerto Rico. Tomorrow morning, not tomorrow morning, but on uh, I'm leaving tomorrow. But on Wednesday, I should be in Puerto Rico. Then from there to Martinique in the French country to drop off a, a new a new uh, uh, television computer for streaming. Uh, the other one's been several years now working, and it's time to upgrade. Then Grenada, where I'll spend the night. Then Guyana, where we have a large ministry there. We'll drop off some airplane parts and some other things. Down to Brazil, we'll spend a weekend in Brazil, and then on to Bolivia. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I want you to know what it's like. I want you to know what, what missionary pilots do. Not everybody flies internationally. This is uh, uh, our largest airplane. Someday, we, Lord willing, we'll have some bigger ones that can do, carry more and go faster. But we're grateful for this airplane. It was donated to us by a physician in, in Oregon and uh, has new engines on it. It has good, nice, nice equipment. Uh, it just finished its annual inspection. It has, it has tanks, uh, long-range tanks that we installed this last few months there to allow us a little longer range. And uh, you're going to accompany. I'm going to be uploading these things along the way. And as we load the airplane tomorrow, as I take off, as we, uh, as we land in different uh, locations, I'm going to be doing different video recordings. And I want you to accompany me along the way. I will be also uh, letting you know how you can follow the airplane as we fly along. On a satellite, it goes right onto the internet. You can track Uncle David as I fly down to the, to the oceans, across the jungles, and then on to my destination, final destination in Bolivia. I've been away from home for nearly two months. I'm anxious to get back home. Normally, Aunt Becky is my co-pilot. She's been my co-pilot for 35 years, but on this specific occasion, her passport was tied up in immigration and she couldn't leave. So uh, I've been away from home two months, which is about the longest I've been away from home, and I'm anxious to get back. But I invite you to accompany me to pray as I fly over those jungles and over the, uh, the oceans, delivering the equipment that is needed for God's work. Remember, we have airplanes all over the world. We have airplanes in different countries for specific jobs. And God might be inviting you to work on the front lines. Frontlines TV, FrontlinesTV.com is going to be a new television network we're going to launch soon with stories from all over the mission field. Keep your eye on FrontlinesTV.com. And we will give you an opportunity to serve somewhere in God's work. Today, we're working in 88 countries. Very soon, we're going to be adding three or four more countries, and it'll be over 90, then over 100. But there's a place for you on the front lines. Join Uncle David, won't you, as we begin this adventure missionary trip to deliver goods onto the front lines. God bless. Before I leave, let me just make one more statement. I've been very grateful for a young lady and her influence. Uh, that has had a lot of influence on mission aviation and her passion for mission aviation. This young lady uh, called me Uncle David, and she came regularly to see me, and she wanted to become a mission pilot. She actually was a pilot. She finished her flying. She was doing her advanced training and also for nursing and uh, uh, aviation mechanics as well, but she died in an auto accident tragically. Brianna Cassidy gave her life trying to prepare for mission aviation, and her parents and family and friends have created the Brianna's Wings of Passion Foundation in honor of Brianna Cassidy. And they are funding uh, candidates through Gospel Ministries International. They are funding candidates for mission pilots. And we have several on the front lines right now. We only do this on the front lines. We don't train here in the U.S. We're training mission pilots overseas and uh, after they have proven themselves. And so I would encourage you to please uh, support 
Brianna's Wings of Passion Foundation. You can find her webpage on briannacassidy.com. If you fund and help support this foundation, they will in turn, through Gospel Ministries International, uh, fund missionary prospective missionary pilots that have proven to be con consecrated, dedicated, hard workers, team players, and uh, who are dedicated until Jesus coming to serve in mission aviation. Thank you very much. God bless you.